So, 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 ba- so you've noticed almost immediately the friendliness of oh Filipinos. Gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 All right. Is it cool if I record you for the of YouTube course. channel? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? Alexa. Alexa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, where are you from, Alexa? I'm from Ottawa, Canada. Ottawa. Ottawa. Okay. And uh, how old are you? I'm 22 years old. 22 years old. Okay. Well, yeah. So, so we're here in Dumaguete. So, so what, what made you decide to come here to the Philippines? Well, I graduated in 2023 um, from university and it was one of those things where I'm not ready to work and I'm not ready to, you know, pursue another path yeah. just yet. I really, really want to um, just broaden the things that I know about the world at the moment, Yeah. kind of have an experience to see like one of the most beautiful places ever. Okay, um, and do you think this is one of the most beautiful I places ever? I think it's ever? absolutely stunning. Like, yeah. I think, you know what I think? I think it's really clean. Really I clean? I think it's, compared to a lot of the places in Canada and a lot of, like, the, you know, I've been on vacations to Mexico or, or whatever. You've been to Mexico? Yeah, I have been to Mexico. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, the water here is clean and there's, there's environmental fees to, you know, keep the nature intact. Um, it's just really obvious that there's there's a passion towards you know caring for the environment in a lot of the places that I've been. So that's one thing that I do really like about um, this. It's it's beautiful because it's so like natural. Okay. And the water yeah. is beautiful and yeah. Okay, so so you just graduated from college. Yeah. I didn't know that. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's great. And so. Yeah. So you figure, you know what? I'm going to celebrate. Exactly. And, and That's the, what this is. Celebration. Yeah, celebration. Yeah. And uh, is this your first time here in the Philippines? Yes. First yeah. time. Yeah. First All right. Time. And how long have you been here now? I've been here for about uh, 13 days. So 13 far. days. Wow. Yeah. And, and uh, tell me, what, what, what are your first impressions when you first got here? First impressions. I landed at the airport. Okay. It was so hot. What airport so did hot. you arrive at? We arrived in Cebu City. Cebu City. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It was really busy. Yeah. I was a little overwhelmed. It was like, <laughs> coming from Ottawa, it's the capital of Canada, but yeah. it's, it's, it's the capital, but it's not very busy. It's, it's a little bit slower, less populated. If you know Canada, you know that Toronto's a little bit busier. Mm-hmm. And I've never been a big like city person. So coming to Cebu was like, we took a, a taxi into the city. Yeah. And then it was like, oh my gosh, there's people everywhere. Yeah. There's cars that are yeah. about to get hit. Anyways. <laughs> you know, was, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, you know what? You, when you were telling me that, you know, it, it gave me a little bit of deja vu because that's yeah. exactly how I yeah. felt when I first arrived at Cebu yeah. City. Yeah. 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 So, uh, okay. But, uh, and then, you know, it's a 12 hour time difference. So I was also like exhausted. So we slept a bit yeah. and then actually getting to like see first impressions of the city itself yeah again Cebu City was not my favorite because I'm not a city person yeah but um it's just it's a lot different than Ottawa like the way that people will come up to you and talk to you or ask you questions or like ask if you want a cab yeah it's just a little bit different than Canada people are more willing to talk to you and so, 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 ba- so you've noticed almost immediately the friendliness of oh my Filipinos. Gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 Like other than first impressions, like from what I've had the past 12 days, I, oh, well, there's been a couple of situations where we, yeah. I'm here with my boyfriend, but where we've, um, you know, been lost or needed accommodations for, you know, restaurant food or hotels. I have never like, People are so incredibly kind to you. Yeah, yeah. And, and service oriented too in, in the restaurant and like hotel sense, but like so kind on the streets and just yeah. wanting to talk to you in taxis and wanting to, you know, figure out where you're from, how you like it, et cetera. No, really, really, really kind people. Where did you go? Where did y'all go after Cebu City? We went to, um, oh my gosh. 
We just came from Sikuror. Okay, you just came from Sikuror. We came from Sikuror, but where did we go after Cebu City? Well, that's okay. What? Tell me, what did you think about Sikuror? Incredible. Incredible. Like, and like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. One word, incredible. Incre like incredible. Um, yeah. Just like stunning. We got to stay in um, Camp Anini Pass. Okay. Anyways, it was up in the mountains yeah. and it was like little hobbit homes. Yeah. Just the coolest thing ever. There was dogs <laughs> who had just had her little puppies, so they were running around. Yeah. Like stunning. Again, like that's why I think the nature here is so beautiful because you woke up and, and the sunset was there. Yeah. You would go to bed and or or you go to bed and the sunset was there. You yeah. wake up with the sunrise. Like yeah. oh my gosh, stunning. I thought it was I thought it was beautiful. I mean, have you seen any like sea turtles or you know, any whales we, or have seen some dolphins, I think. Okay. Yeah. Or a whale. Yeah. Swimming beside the boat. It wasn't big though, so yeah. I don't know how big the whales get. Okay, because I'll tell you that sometimes right up here where we're at now, sometimes the sea turtles will come oh. right up here, up against the wall. Sometimes. Oh my Not gosh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're big too, you know, like yeah, they're really big. Like almost like like when I seen one for the first time I thought that I could get on it and ride it. Because it's floating up on top of the water. Oh, you know? my gosh. Yeah. like That big. Eh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. That was like the image that popped in my mind. You know, like I could ride it like a horse, you know, like a horse version <laughs> in the water, you know. <laughs> I don't oh, know. that's hilarious. Yeah. You know, I in part of the, the course I'm taking, we, we kind of learned that some stories have said that the earth and, and the land that we have now is actually started as like a turtle shell turtle shell so like the turtle wow. volunteered to you yeah. know be the person who became yeah the land and then well you know what look this is kind of uh, going off on a tangent here but since you bring that up i think that the oldest living animal is a turtle or, I th yeah, or, tortoise. or a tortoise tortoise yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that right too. yeah and i think it gets better treatment than you know like <laughs> Like <laughs> than the Queen of England did, you know, like uh, I believe that. Yeah, they, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're trying to keep that as old as it's gonna yeah, get. Yeah, they wanted to live forever. I think if I, I don't know, I don't want to be wrong here, you know, but I think it's over two hundred years old. No, I don't. I feel like I've seen something about that. Yeah, how it's like lived through two wars or something. Yeah, lived through and, two wars. Yeah. yeah, and that and that is so old that the, its mouth is falling apart. It can't even eat food anymore. Oh my gosh. How yeah. Is it like syringes or something? Yeah, syringe, and they feed it some Holy liquid, God. liquid diet. You know. Holy jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh my crazy, God. but it's cool at the same Super time. Super cool. You yeah. think of something living, two hundred years ago. Yeah. You know, through all of the history. Yeah. You know, this creature. You know, I mean, the only thing that I, that I could think of that's lived longer than that would be some trees. Yeah, that's right? true. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried any Filipino food, Alexa? So I'm celiac, so I'm really, really allergic to gluten. Ah, yeah, you're a okay, yeah. Yeah, I love that. so um, that being said, rice is like my favorite thing on the entire planet. Rice. And eggs. Okay, well, you know so what, So I've had lots of Filipino food in the sense <laughs> that every restaurant yeah. I go to, I get eggs and rice of some sort. Eggs and rice, look, yeah, I look. love it, I think it's delicious. Put a little salt on that. Yes, And it's, <laughs> look. I think it's incredible. Yeah. Alexa, look, I got to tell you, right, if if you love rice, I love rice. Then I don't know. Look, I'm I'm not a Filipino, but it's just my opinion that if you love rice, yeah. then you fit in for sure right here in the Philippines because they love rice too. I know. Yeah. I yeah. know. You know, I'm not I'm not much one for like pasta or yeah. anything like that. Rice though, yeah. I love rice. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what they say here? The Filipinos they say rice is life. That's uh, that's they grow a, rice here, right? Oh, yeah. yeah okay, I yeah. think we. Oh my god, we went to Bohol. Bohol. Bo uh, Bohol? Oh, yeah, well, I might be pronouncing it incorrectly. Well, I might the, be too. <laughs> yeah, Bohol. I would say Bohol. Okay, that's where we went after Cebu. Okay. And we got to go see the Chocolate Hills. Chocolate Hills? Yeah, wow. and we got to. Uh, you got to see the Chocolate Hills? Yeah, they're really tell really me about cool. it. You got to tell me about it. Because yeah. I've never been to see the chocolate really? hills. Yeah, okay. no, I, so, I've been to Bohol. I've been to Bohol, but I didn't go to the chocolate hills. Okay, well, well, you gotta go back. You gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We um, rented a scooter. Okay. And it was my my partner's first time driving a scooter, so that was a little bit 
anxiety provoking. A little but bit so ex like so awesome. Okay. Scooters are awesome. Is yeah. my other thing takeaway from this experience. Yeah. Um, and we drove two hours out from where we were staying um, to see the top of the hills, and you know you park and stuff, and then you get to go up. It was like these these massive massive hill formations that were. Yeah. You know, like brownish green, I guess, the color of grass. I guess that's why it's called the chocolate hell is the, yeah. the color. But like all around you and you're on top of one of them. Yeah. Um, and we, we tried to figure out if we could climb one of them. But they're okay. steep. Like, yeah. it's it's a weird environmental occurrence to have happened that, <laughs> you know, these hills kind of popped up. Yeah. Out of nowhere. But yeah. Yeah, really cool. And the drive out was really awesome. Yeah. And we saw a couple like wheat fields, I think it was. Um, but yeah, it was. It was okay. Awesome. Did, did y'all, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it, it, they sound beautiful. Yeah. I've seen pictures of them, by the way, but yeah. I'm sure that pictures doesn't. Oh, you no, know. you never, in a picture, you never really get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that sounds like such a, such yeah. a great experience. Yeah. Did, did you see the uh, Tars years? We didn't know. Uh, but you no, have you didn't. heard about them? I have heard about them with yeah. the big eyes. Yeah, with the big eyes. Yeah. Kind of like me, right? I've got no, big No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got big eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. L let me ask you this. Kind of uh, a, a different uh, a change of, of topic here. Okay. But yeah. you, you've been here for 13 days. Okay. Yeah. Like, if somebody wanted to come out here on a, on a vacation, like, like what, kind of, what kind of budget would they have to plan? Like... Is it super expensive or? No, oh my God, no. No? Oh my God, no. So um, everything that you've described to me, right? Yeah. All of this, all of these like awesome experiences, the Chocolate Hills, Sicky Whore, uh, seeing all of this stuff, the, yeah. the motorbike, like, I mean, y'all are able to do this on what, what kind of budget, roughly? So for this trip, we took out, um, We've been booking some of our accommodations online, like yeah. being able to pay through our phones. Yeah. So that's one thing I we haven't really brought into the budget, but we've taken out about five hundred dollars, and we're still like good on it. We're hoping it takes us to the end of our three week stay. Okay, five. Is this five hundred dollars Canadian? Five hundred Canadian. So that's probably three fifty American. So so five hundred Canadian for thirteen days. For no, for the three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This this crazy. I mean, yeah. Are you are you are you being serious? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the 100%. plane but the plane tickets though that's probably. Oh, the, the plane tickets were were like fifteen hundred okay. to get here. Yeah. From Canada. Is it that's round trip? No, that's one way. One way. Because for the both going, of y'all. We're going yeah for okay. for each. Okay. Each fifteen hundred dollars so each. Fifteen hundred dollars each. So that was like the investment. Okay. But to be here and to live here was is a lot less like a meal we found is about about 500 pesos for both of us depending yeah. what kind of food we're getting which is about 15 20 dollars yeah yeah canadian so, which is like yeah so so basically though is that uh the plane the plane tickets is the, is the that's that's the most expensive part and oh my then gosh, yeah. like for three weeks though, so once you get here for three weeks, you could stay here and do, see, you know, all of these amazing. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Everything, everything is either free here or has like a super small environmental fee for like yeah. a dollar Canadian or something. Yeah. Um, but, but it makes sense because, you know, <laughs> you're in like full nature. You get yeah. to immerse yourself, so. Yeah. When you leave Dumaguete, yeah. are y'all, where are y'all headed to next? We're going to go to Cebu City okay. and then from Cebu, we are going to, there's three islands that you can get to from, oh my goodness. <laughs> we were going to go to um, Caron, but the budget is not allowing that right now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're going to go with the pictures on that one. Okay. Yeah. But we're going to three islands um, that are like, like a two-hour ferry from there. Yeah. They're all close together. Can't even tell you what it is right now because we figured it out this morning. Yeah. With plans changed this morning. Yeah. We were like, you know what? <laughs> the the corona's not gonna happen, but Corona. Corona. Uh, it's above um, El Nido. Okay. 
um, Palawan. Palawan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Palawan is a very popular destination. Yeah, I've not personally heard. been there, but you know what? Everybody says, "Oh, Palawan is beautiful. Bohol's beautiful. Boracay. They're basically." Almost everywhere around here is beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong, Alexa. No, you actually can't. No, I no, mean, like... And that's what we're so... That's what we've kind of thought. Like, okay, if we don't go to Corona, you know, when we get to go to these three islands that are, you know... Yeah. Less popular, that might be even better. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, we're so excited. We're so excited. You're... It's like a country full of islands. So yeah, is really yeah, a, yeah. And, you know, a bad and, spot to go? I don't think so. A, a country full of I, I, islands with, uh, you know you know generally very friendly people yeah. you know i mean like how can you go wrong you know mm -hmm. like and, and you know what i'm not just saying that i mean like that's really my well, honest you live here, so. yeah, yeah yeah well you know alexa you know what it was so great talking to you yeah thank you, know? you. yeah i mean like it was really you know it, you know i don't know how else to say it i really enjoyed talking mm -hmm. to you okay 